Hey everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can take a solid color background and basically remove it um, so it fits better with your themes. What you'll need to know about is you'll need to know about layers. So anytime I copy and paste, it'll paste it as a new layer. And you'll need to understand the different selection tools that are available too. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is the difference between replace, unite, subtract, and intersect. So, because you can be using these quite often. So replace is exactly that. It will replace the selection that's there. Unite will add to that selection. Subtract, it'll take away any parts that are overlapping. And intersect will just keep the places that are overlapping. So it's very important to you playing around with those and understanding when to use them. The next thing is we have several different types of um, selection tools. Rectangle, ellipse, lasso allows you to freehand. Uh, here's another lasso, which allows for little dots. I like the magnetic lasso. I think this is very helpful. And I'm going to go through and I'm just going to kind of use this to select. Oops. Get that. My robot. And you can notice that how far you are will help you determine. So there is my robot. I'm going to hit Control C, show you my layers, and then hit Control V. And now I have. And I have that layer. I just have a layer with just my robot with a transparent background. So now, let's go back to layers. Let's look at just that background again. Now, I want to also show you some other tools that you have with the selection. So that was the um, lasso. We also have the magic wand, and we also have a quick select and object select, which I encourage you to play with. But for this video, I'm going to talk about the magic wand. First thing I want to know is the tolerance. This is something very important to understand. If I have a really low tolerance, like a 2, and I click on this orange, it's going to select very, very middle. It's not very variant on the orange. There's, it's not going to pick up the shadows. Unlike if I select something like 50 and click on part of that orange, oops, it'll pick up a lot more of the orange because it looks at the colors and says, okay, you're close enough. So that's what tolerance means. Probably should be on replace. Now, let's say I want to get just this Edison uh, logo out of here. A lot of people will click on the white and start deleting. I actually recommend doing the opposite because if you do it that way, it'll leave a border. So I'm going to click on the E, and then I'm going to go over to addition so that it doesn't replace my selection and just kind of keeps on clicking. And I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to hit Control C. And again, I'm going to open up my layers to show you that when I hit V, it adds a layer of just the Edison logo. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to export this so that we can use it in our videos, in our presentations. And the way we want to do that is by clicking File, Export As, and you want to make sure you choose PNG. Uh, JPEGs are very popular on the web. They're good for uh, photographs, but what they have a tendency, to do, they do not allow for a transparent background. PNG is kind of like the newer version that allows for transparent backgrounds that are also photos. So you want to select PNG. When you're done, click Save. And now that can be brought into a video. Okay, let me get out of here. So I want to thank everybody and uh, never stop learning.